Hi friends, welcome back to Star Laboratory. If you are not a subscriber, first of all, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell button. Okay, today we are going to discuss about this frozen section in histopathology. First of all, now let's discuss about this principle behind this frozen section. Cryostat can be used to get thin frozen section from fresh tissues. Gas carbon dioxide is directed on the tissue and dry ice is formed on the tissue to freeze. Then cryostat. So cryostat is a freezing microtome which is specially designed to get a thin frozen section. There's a special refrigerating system can be seen inside this chamber of this cryostat. The fresh tissues itself have in the water. So when the dry ice formed on the tissues, this water gets freeze. So these tissues automatically get solidified. Here we are using this frozen section medium. So this frozen section medium gives this optimal cutting temperature for these tissues. So which act as an embedding media. Now let's see what are the requirements. A good working cryostat or freezing microtome. Cutting blade and trimming blade. Fresh tissue. Frozen section gel or tissue embedding media. Clean glass lights. A diamond pencil for the labeling and other related requirements. Okay, now let's go for the method. Here we are using these metal holders to fix with this microtome. The fresh tissue should be placed at the center of these metal holders. Then we add this tissue embedding gel in a clockwise manner from the center to outwards. After that we place this metal mask on the holders, then we allow to solidify for a few minutes. When we start working with this uh, freezing microtome or cryostat, uh, it's very very important. So first of all we should read all the manufacturer's instruction. Then uh, we should follow this SOP that means standard operating procedure. So according to the pro standard operating procedure we should uh, go one by one step. In this freezing microtome also we are using two cutting blades. So one blade for this trimming and another blade for this final tissue cutting. Okay now let's uh, fix this trimming blade. Now this uh, uh, tissue embedding gel gets solidified so our block is ready. So now let's uh, fix this block with the holder of this uh, cryostat then we started to do this uh, trimming. So now I am just uh, adjusting this uh, trimming angle so trimming size is 20 micrometer. The tissue should not be removed from the block when we are doing this trimming. So a special care should be needed when we are doing this trimming. Now the trimming is ok so now let's uh, go for this tissue final cutting. Then we have to change the sharp blade to get a thin section. Then we should adjust this uh, cutting angle. So now I am just adjusting this uh, cutting angle to 5 micrometer. Here 
cabinet clean glass lights. So this uh, glass light should be placed on the room temperature. After getting a thin frozen section, we should take out these tissues with the help of this clean glass light uh, which we have already placed on this room temperature. So it automatically attaches with this uh, glass light. Then finally we should do the labeling with the help of this diamond pencil. Then we can continue this process with straining. That's all for today and thanks for watching. So after watching this video please give a like, share it, subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell button.